Cebu Island is known for its dramatic coastline, ridden with rugged mountains, cascading rivers, and deep ravines. Building structures in this uh, region is completely different to any other part of the world. Here we are in the Pacific Ring of Fire, and therefore we are challenged by earthquakes and typhoons. The top part of the pylon and the 14 stake cables have been designed to minimize the impact of winds of up to 250 kilometers per hour. The foundations are made of 21 piles. The formation of those piles have been designed to withstand vessel impacts up to 110 meganewtons. In order to overcome an eventual earthquake, all the bridges are equipped with special devices called bearings. The bearings are designed to dissipate a large amount of energy. The design of the cross was done in such a way that is fully integrated with the bridge. It's easily achieved by hiding all the bolts, all the fixities. We can say that it's not only an aesthetic feature of the bridge, it also contributes to the direction of the bridge. We aspire for the Seselec to be an iconic landmark serving the people of Cebu, with the lighted cross as its crowning glory. The cross is a symbol of unity and faith of our people. It will become an iconic landmark for all the Cebuanos and it will be a bridge that they will be proud of and they will be identified with. Once Cicilex is finished, this is going to be a world-class bridge.